The last several episodes have been focusing mainly on Car Week at Monterey. And although about 90% or more of it were positive experiences, there was a little setback on my last night there. Towards the end of the night, I went to my car to check on it at the hotel garage and noticed something pretty disturbing. At first glance, my car seemed to be okay, but when I noticed on the front driver's side wheel, there was a big puddle around it and it appeared to be melted milkshake or something of that sort. And so I looked around my car and right above it, I noticed that there was a big area covered in milkshake and it wasn't just something that was poured on it but it was smeared throughout the whole fender and so after I realized that it scratched my car I started making my way around the car to see if there's any more damage around my car and I start to see a lot of these fingerprints kind of swiping towards my paint and I haven't touched my car since I left home and so it picked up a lot of dust and debris from the road and so my car was really dusty, so if you were to swipe it, it would definitely leave a mark or some scratches on my car. So I saw that throughout my car. I even saw a big handprint towards the rear part of my car, and it was just something that was not a good experience. And I decided not to bring it up with security, even though there was cameras in the parking garage, because it was my last night, and there was pretty much nothing I could do now that the damage is done so I pretty much just left it at that and then when I brought it back home I didn't I wasn't able to wash my car until a full week that went by so I was able to fix the damage that was done bright and early and already I spotted a couple of FDs I know for sure today's gonna be a good day I just arrived here in Laguna Hills. It's an early September Sunday morning for Sunday Steel. And this is my first time at this event. I did bring my 911 or M5. So I'm just kind of driving solo in my Celica today. In about maybe 15, 20 minutes, the road behind me, people are gonna start rolling in. So I wanna get some footage of that. I decided to take a sneak peek of the venue. And when I turned around to go back to the entrance, I saw a car starting to roll in. There are several entrances to this event, so I'm a little confused which area people are coming in. So it'll be a little bit spotty as far as people entering. So we'll see how I do with catching everybody coming in. In real time, I'm actually editing this video as I wait for cars to come in. I'm plugging the slides in this log. and the lot is pretty full right now but a lot of cars are still rolling in I did miss a lot of cars that were rolling in from the other entrance so we'll just have to catch them when I make my rounds around the parking lot Alright, I got as much footage as I can out here. Let's go inside now and run a montage of the cars that are in the event today.
There was a lot of nice cars in this event, but I narrowed it down basically to one GDM and one Euro. So between the GTR and R8, which did I pick? Well, I picked the R8. I may, I'll be a little bit biased with the blue and black wheels combo because of my 911, but I like how low the center of gravity is of this car and how aggressive it looks. So this is kind of what I was leaning towards as far as my favorite car. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm actually gonna be working on one of my buddy's cars this weekend, so I'll cover that on the next vlog. Thanks for joining and we'll see you on the next one.